Here I am getting excited about yet another version of a game that has its roots embedded in late 2008, almost 13 years ago, which is a little bit baffling. That's when a failed Kickstarter campaign pushed developer Bugbear Entertainment into offering a sneak peek demo for the then titled Next Car Game to those who pre-ordered the title. The history of the game is for another time, but all the hard work has culminated to the 4th of May 2021. This is when the PS5 version became available one month ahead of the planned general release for PlayStation Plus subscribers, and it is pure, unbridled enjoyment. Wreckfest may have first seen light in some form or another many years ago, but right here, right now, this is the pinnacle of the experience. Before we jump into more, don't forget to subscribe to the Traction channel and ring that bell if you're feeling extra nice. This reminds us why we play games in the first place, an escape, a pure fantasy. You smash up vehicles from a sofa car to a school bus and everything in between, making use of a satisfying damage mechanic and bombastic AI rivals to create a cacophony of bent metal, burnt rubber and felled hoardings. Beautiful. But we're here to talk specifically about the PS5 release, as for now, this is the only version that has been remastered with native 4K visuals, 60 frames per second, and crucially, new lighting and textures. You would be forgiven for thinking this is just a light spruce up. The gaming industry right now is a little bit foggy for players, with cross-gen releases, free upgrades, smart delivery, cross-play, remakes, remasters. Let me just say this isn't just the PS4 version running at a higher frame rate. This is an extensive redo that deserves your attention. Wreckfest on PS5 is a testament to the detail that goes into making a video game, each tiny little refinement paying dividends to the whole experience. The biggest change here is the lighting. You now have rich sunsets during races. With many of the tracks based on a typically Scandinavian tree-lined route, the sun now breaks through the pines, dispersing its light in a naturalistic fashion. The shadows surrounding cars are much more detailed, noticeably if a car has a giant rear wing. Brake bulbs on a big American cruiser slowly fade out when you let off the middle pedal. Reflections on the vehicle windows are probably the most marked improvement, even simply as you pan the camera in the garage. But even the grass and gravel that supplement the violence look markedly more enriched. You now make your own individual reactive tire marks through the dirt. I know I'm talking about small, nerdy details and I love that, but going back to an older version of the game is like trying to read with an old pair of glasses. Everything seems slightly blurred around the edges. It looks like a new, from scratch, next generation game at times, such is this visual leap forward. You then take all that detail and smash your pickup truck and the surrounding environment into a million tiny pieces, which feels better than an hour with an overpriced therapist. This game is cathartic. If you've not played Wreckfest for a while, you now benefit from a build-up of free track editions, and I really recommend dipping into the tournament mode. This is where new challenges are added on a regular basis, allowing you to earn fame, or XP, to purchase new machines. The two season passes which expand your vehicle library are also worth a look. Then there are always chaotic online modes, from simply quick joining a random lobby to a selection of events or creating private lobbies for friends. The public lobby size has been expanded to 24 players from 16, although at present private lobbies are still limited to 8. The loading times on Wreckfest have always been slower than a Reliant Robin on a motorway. It feels like decades pass before you can actually race. It varies, but I noticed about a 25% improvement on PS5 compared to PS4. It's still sometimes closer to 20 seconds to load a race though, and when you compare that to 3 or 4 seconds for Ride 4 or WRC 9 on PS5, it's pretty apparent. The DualSense's adaptive triggers provide more tension when slowing down, which I'm always a fan of, but there's no haptic feedback when you ride over a curb or go into a field but that's still nitpicking of the highest order. The only real complaint that could be levied at this new version of Wreckfest is that your previous save games cannot, at the moment, be transferred across. If, like me, you haven't played for a while, then it's not a huge drawback because the enhanced experience does definitely warrant a replay, but I can see if you've completed the career on the old gen version recently, you might be a little perturbed. Despite this one hiccup, this is still an astounding achievement and one that lucky PS5 owners owe themselves to check out. It's the best racing game on the platform so far. PlayStation recently revealed that 7.8 million PS5s have been sold and PlayStation Plus subscribers have jumped 14.7%. Every single member should try this new version of Wreckfest, and if you haven't played it before, then you're in for a treat.
And that is our quick look at Wreckfest on the PS5. It's available right now for PlayStation Plus members throughout May, and it'll be releasing for all PS5 owners as a digital and physical release on the 1st of June. Existing owners of Wreckfest on the PS4 can upgrade their version to the PS5 version for just $9.99. Have you guys tried out Wreckfest on the PS5 or are you very excited to give it a go? Let me know in the comments section below. Please do subscribe to the Traction channel if you haven't already and if you don't want to miss out on any new videos coming your way, then please do ring that bell. I have been Rich, thank you very much for watching, keep it pinned, and I'll see you next time.